What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 12 of tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway Tutorial. In the previous tutorial, I have taken you through on how to return pre-signed URL to download or access S3 bucket object. And now in this tutorial, I'm going to cover on how we can generate pre-signed URL to upload a file to S3 bucket. So as we know that the maximum payload that we can pass to API gateway is 10 MB, right? So now what if we want to build the functionality to let the end client upload the file, which is ideally more than 10 MB in size. So in that case, we can generate and return pre-signed URL to the end client so that he can upload a file, which is ideally more than 10 MB of size, right? So let's see how we can do that. So as you can see on my screen, this is the endpoint that we had created uh, in one of the tutorial of this tutorial series, right? So we have this bucket as path parameter and we had defined get method. So ideally it's the same, uh, though I will take you through the setup that uh, I have on my system for get method, right? So we will start with method request. So here we had set request validator as validate query string parameters and headers. And then we had defined URL query string parameter that is file and we had made it required. Right. So that's all for the uh, method request. Now within integration request, uh, since we are using Lambda proxy integration, uh, we are not uh, configuring any mapping template over here. Right. So uh, these are the things that we had defined. Rest of the things are same and as it is. So here we are going to mainly work with the Lambda function. So let's jump to the Lambda function that is access file S3 API, right? Which is integrated with this API endpoint or with this get method, right? So here is our function, right? So, uh, as you know that, um, we are letting end client pass bucket name and file name, right? So ideally, uh, the thing is that, uh, we will let the end client decide that, uh, that to which bucket he wants to upload a file and with what name, right? So that's the reason, uh, we will fetch bucket name and file name from the end client itself. So here we are. So this code is from the uh, previous tutorial. So we had generated and returned pre-signed URL to download an object from S3 bucket, right? But here we want to upload a file, right? So now, uh, all we need to change is line number 17. So instead of get object, uh, we will simply change it to put object and I will increase this, uh, expires in time to probably three, six, double zero, right? And save this Lambda function. So that's all we have to do, right? So now uh, let's go back to API gateway, uh, click on stages. We will copy the invocation URL from here. Navigate to postman. So with the new tab, paste that invocation URL slash followed by our bucket name as so that is something we are passing as path parameter. So in my case, it's upload API tutorial. So I want to upload a file to this bucket. So upload API tutorial followed by the query string parameter and with which name I want to save this file, right? So I will say file equal to sample.pdf, right? Now, before we move on, let's have a look at the bucket. So here is my bucket that is upload API tutorial and I have only one file that is content one.pdf. Now I want to upload a file which will be named as sample.pdf, right? So let's go back to postman. So we'll send a request here and the API endpoint or the Lambda function will return the pre-signed upload URL, right? So let's say send. So here we have the URL, right? So what we'll do is we will copy this URL. So 
so let me copy this open the new tab in postman paste it over here right so this is how our pre-signed url looks like right now here since we want to upload an object right and we had defined the client method as put underscore object so here uh, within method we have to select put and not get right now once you select put go to body click on binary now here we will choose a file that which file i want to upload so i will say pad.pdf right and i will simply say send if everything is fine, then it should return status code 200. So let's have a look. So it says uh, access denied uh, request has expired. And why is that? So let's go to Lambda function. Let me reload this. I think that 3600 is not being saved properly. So let's see. Oh, it, it's three, right? So it should be three, six, double zero. And I will say save. Let's go to postman again. Let me close this. Don't save. Let's uh, retrieve the pre-signed URL again. Okay, here we are. Copy. Open a new tab, paste it over here, change get to put, go to body, select binary, choose the file, pad.pdf, say send. So as you can see, the status code 200 is being written, right? So let's go ahead to S3 bucket and have a look. So let me refresh this. So as you can see, sample.pdf uh, is successfully uploaded, right? We can even have a look. Let's try to download it. Or maybe let's download it, not try to. So here we are and We have the file, right? So it says uh, something support my work on patreon.com slash srcecde, right? So uh, this is how uh, you can upload a file using pre-signed URL, right? Now, one more thing I want to highlight over here. So let me uh, delete this file. Let's go back to postman. Right. So here uh, you might notice that I'm using the Chrome map, right? So which says Chrome maps are being deprecated, download our free native app, right? So what I will do is I will copy this URL once again, and I will go to a native application, uh, which is this one, right? And here uh, I will paste it over here, that URL, right? And here, as you can see, we have this, uh, query string parameters right so it's uh, encoded so what i will do is i will select right click and i will say decode uri component right so now once that is done uh, change get to put go to body the same procedure we are following here right but uh, in that case uh, we were not decoding the uh, url right so uh, within body select binary select a file I will upload the same file that is pad.pdf open and say send. So the same thing uh, is not working in the native application, uh, right? So I'm not sure uh, what exactly the reason is, uh, but I'm trying to uh, debug it. If you find a solution for the same, uh, let me know in comments, right? So uh, I think there's some uh, different engine uh, running behind each of the application, but I'm still not sure, right? So the same thing is not working in the native application, but it is working uh, within Chrome app, right? 
the postman that is available for chrome app and which is being deprecated right so yeah that is something i want to highlight over here okay so that was uh, one of the ways to upload a file using pre-signed url right now let's again go back to our lambda function so here uh, we had used a method that is generate pre-signed url to generate a pre-signed url to upload an object right uh, but this is not the recommended method to generate a pre-signed url for the uploading purpose right so let's comment line number 17 and define another line saying url equal to s3 dot generate pre-signed underscore post right and not url followed by the bucket name so bucket equal to bucket underscore name comma followed by key equal to with which name i want to save that file right so this time uh, i mean we are not defining over here so i will simply say file underscore name right and then uh, we have another option that is fields equal to none we are not passing it right now then we have conditions over here again none and finally expires in right I will simply copy and paste it over here. So here, uh, the fields is basically a dictionary of uh, pre-filled form fields, uh, right? So within fields, you can pass on elements like access control list, cache control, content type, and all that stuff, right? And then uh, within condition, you have to pass a list, which ideally includes a list of condition to include in the policy, right? So uh, that's condition and fills, but right now uh, I'm just keeping it simple. We are not passing fills or condition right now, okay? And let's save this. Let's go back to Postman once again. So click on Postman. Go to our API endpoint URL. Now instead of sample.pdf, uh, let's say I want to save that file as patreon.pdf right and I will say send so this time uh, it will not return the URL but instead uh, it will return a dictionary uh, which is separated by certain things right so as you can see uh, as a key value pair now when you are using generate pre-signed underscore post it ideally returns a dictionary right where we have the URL that is our host followed by fields uh, that is key that is file name uh, access key id and policy and signature and security token right so how we can use this so let's copy this host first let's close this one don't save Let's open a new tab in Postman. Paste it over here. Right, so this is our uh, endpoint URL. Now here, instead of get, we have to select post. Then uh, navigate to body. And here we are going to use form data. Okay, so let's go back to this tab. So here we will paste all the fields and key value. So we will start with key. You have to make sure the order, right? Then we have patreon.pdf. Paste. So right now we are using Postman. So uh, we have to go through this manual steps, right? So instead what you can do is you can uh, define one html page right uh, where you can uh, set these values within a form right and you can uh, place one input type as file right and encoding type as multi-part form data okay and then uh, you can have a front end using that html page and you can easily upload a file right 
so let's do this now so security token policy so in ideal scenario uh, we will be running this uh, as a part of the script right and we will have some script that will automatically set this values for us right uh, but just for the demo purpose uh, i am showing you this that uh, how it works and how you can upload a file using postman right finally signature so here we are not going to select that uh, binary over here right so we are using form data right now once all the values is being uh, configured within form data the final parameter is file now here uh, click on this text and say file right and then we will have this button that is choose file now I will select this pad.pdf again right and I think we are all done if everything is configured correctly then it should not return any error and the file should be uploaded successfully right so click on send so it returned 204 no content but file is uploaded successfully let's have a look go to s3 if you remember then we had deleted that file so let me reload this so as you can see patreon.pdf is being successfully uploaded right so this is how you can use uh, generate pre-signed underscore post method to generate pre-signed url right now uh, this thing uh, works in native application also right so line number 17 for some reason does not work with uh, postman native application right but uh, the method we had defined on line number 18 does work with the uh, native application i have tested it you can try it on your own right so well this is how you can uh, upload a file using pre-signed url uh, using generate pre-signed underscore url as well as generate pre-signed underscore post right so well uh, that's it for now and till that time if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time